the 1.3 update for the MPC software, which is going to be quite a substantial update. Now, if you look at the screen, the first thing that you'll notice on the top right here is the GUI. You know, the GUI visually looks a hell of a lot smoother now. It's got a lovely layout. So we can go to all of our icon features here. We can go through our submix. We can go to our MPC pads. We can go through our song mode, next sequence, sampling, which has a microphone icon now. So visually, the layout is improved from our original 1.2 release. We've done a lot of bug fixes now. So the software is bug free. It's 100% rock solid. We've, we've rebuilt the Q-Links. So when you start using the Q-Link features, the integration between the control and the response is second to none. So we can, if we want to layer some sounds, we could just go bang, 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 and I've now got four layers on that pad, bang, 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 straight away, very, very fast. We've, re, we've, re, we've improved the response of the pads as well. So the response, zero latency. You know, the response is so fast and accurate, it's a lot faster than anything else that's on the market. We've also, we've also redesigned the layout of the editing. So let's say, for instance, we come out of MPC mode and we go to plug-in mode. I can load up, I load up one of my internal plugins. And now, when I go into my program edit, what I will now see is the GUI here. So I have that all locked into my screen, so I don't have to go through multiple pages. I can see everything on my layout, on my grid, so I can continue just focusing on making my beat from that sense. I can also do some really cool things as well. I can um, I can go and look at say my sample now. So if we want to go to sample edit, I can now look at my sample. I've got full control here of my start and stops, but I can also zoom in and out as well. I can scroll through my samples and see exactly what's going on. Also, some other really cool things. If I go to my track mixer, it will only now show you the tracks that I'm actually physically using. Where previously you'd see all 128 tracks on the layout, you only now see the tracks that are physically live. As you can see here. And then I can add my plugin. Here, we've rebuilt the plugins as well. As you can see, the format looks very like little 500 modules. So we've rebuilt all the plugins from the ground upwards. So it gives you full control over the plugs in a lovely graphical GUI design. And the last thing we've added is to the vintage mode. So when you go to vintage mode now, you've got 3060 and the other, which is SP1200, but you've also got SP1200 ring mode. Now on the 1200, if you took one of the jacks out halfway, it would give you this kind of ringing, blowing distortion, which is now emulated on the Renaissance. And that is going to be available on 1.3. So there is some massive improvements. Is absolutely rock solid and we've been now gearing up heavily now into the whole dance electronic scene. There's more and more producers coming on board, doing a lot more cutting edge dance music with the whole MPC and the studio. So we're looking forward to this release.